all right, just wanted to do a video about how the Eastern Orthodox Church and all the other branches of so-called Orthodoxy, all that is just simply just Roman Catholic uh, idolatry and paganism repackaged. And basically, the thing is, is that uh, Orthodoxy, it's all the same idolatry, all the same uh, worship of Mary, they call veneration, all the same uh, false gospel, work salvation, all the same, you know, what do they call it, praying for dead people, uh, all the necromancy. So the thing is that the Greek, or and by the way too, one thing that the Greek Orthodox, uh, Eastern Orthodox, you name it, one thing they have in common with the Roman Catholic Church also is, sorry, has something in my throat there, is the fact that they also hate and despise God's word. And the fact that they um, both hold to the doctrine that, oh, you can't, you can't read the Bible for yourself. You have to have the church interpret it for you. And essentially what you do is you put your blind faith into these uh, priests and those who call themselves educated, which is kind of funny because you read 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, down to verse, I think it's verse 30, actually. Uh, God talks about how he used the, the meek things and the weak things of the world to confound the wise. You see, God's word is not just limited, is not just limited to those who have a so-called education. And also, you can read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, which talks about how, you know, the word of God is not just for the, the wise. And you also you read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses uh, 7 down to verse 15, it pretty much destroys this whole thing of, oh, you have to have the church interpreted for you because the Holy Ghost will show you what, what his word says. The Holy Ghost is one who interprets scripture. And another good scripture on that is 1 John chapter 2, verse 20, where it says that you, you, you need not that any man teach you, but the same te that same teaches you of all things. Paraphrasing, of course, you have 1 John chapter 2, verse 20, you have, a, you have an unction from the Holy One that you know all things. First John chapter 16, verse 13, and he that, you know, the spirit of truth, he'll guide you into, guide you into all truth. Again, paraphrasing. And it's this scripture after scripture after scripture, this Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 to 19, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. I mean, I could just go on and on and on. Luke chapter uh, 24, verses uh, 45, I believe it is. So the Holy Ghost is who interprets scripture for you. So you have, you have all the authority you need from the Holy Ghost. But you see, just like any cult, just like the Roman Catholic cult, the Eastern Orthodox and Greek Orthodox, they want to take away the authority of the Word of God and put the authority on themselves, just like Diotrephes in 3 John chapter 1, verse 9, who want to have preeminence among the brethren. And think about so-called Orthodoxy is that it's just, again, Roman Catholicism repackaged. All the same idolatry, all the same uh, veneration of images and icons, which, by the way, the way they treat these so-called icons it is worshiped by biblical standards. They can try to deny it all they want, but the way that they just, just ooh and awe ah towards these, these so-called icons, uh, they bow down to it, they kiss pictures of it, that is worshiped by biblical standards. Okay, you can read Deuteronomy chapter uh, five, verses eight to nine, Deuteronomy chapter four, verses 15 to 19. Okay, it is worship. When you're bowing down before it, when you're burning incense unto it, when you're kissing it, that is worship. And you can deny it, you can play all those semantic word games you want, but by, by scriptural standards, you are worshiping these so-called icons. And Eastern Orthodoxy and, and whatever other branches of Orthodoxy, they're guilty of all the same idolatry, if not just guilty, but also more guilty than the Roman Catholics, considering how prevalent it is. So I could just go on and on and on. Eastern Orthodoxy and just the Orthodoxy religion in general, it's not biblical Christianity. It's just Roman Catholic paganism repackaged. And of course, Roman Catholicism is just Greco-Roman heathen religion repackaged. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye.